Okay, so we need to wander around this temple and gather up a bunch of jewels. Oh yeah, these have antidotes, or... Hmm, there it is, okay. <laughs> I knew they had antidotes. Huh. Well, I don't see that that goes anywhere, so... Alright, moving on. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this part. Right. Well, let's see if I can stealth it. You can knock down that post right there and unleash a bunch of caskets, stone caskets upon them, but uh, but that doesn't kill them, no. Undead are incredibly tough, so let's try stealth. Hmm. Doesn't look dark over here, but I guess it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, alright, let's get our... let's prepare a rope arrow here as our means of escape. There we go. Nobody back here. Good. There is a trap. Um, there's no way to know about this, like I said before, unless you have the detect trap ability. So. That probably has a... Oh, I can't grab the pot. Okay. Nothing else. Right, you need the burglar ability to even notice that trap down there. I kind of wish there was um, some kind of additional visual hint or cue other than just requiring you to have that ability, but... It's alright, I guess. It's an RPG. I've actually never done it this way. I've always knocked down the post trying to kill them, but it's... Uh, it's futile. You can't you can't destroy them in one go. So you may as well just do it this way. Unless you like want to spend a good five minutes, because they take a while to kill. <laughs> they take a long while. Uh, and there's probably there are probably a couple of antidote potions down there, but. I know exactly where we need to go. Here we are. I think it's a lot of fun playing it this way, you know, just avoiding combat. So, uh, Xana, you want to pipe up here? Gems. Urgash knows where the vermin in these tombs might have hidden them. There we go. You can't take a little shortcut here. Because if you fall, you guessed it. More undead. Alright. So where are we headed here? There is something. That's another. Looks like a Naga silk sword. Let's find out. Oh, okay. It picked it up, I suppose. Yeah, superior Naga silk sword. Damage plus six. See, fairly nice weapon. I really, yeah. I should go back and do another run. Um, never gonna use it. Never gonna use that. Never gonna use it. Lightning daggers, probably. No, melee. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice. Melee combat, too. Never gonna use that. Um, uh, stealth 3. I might use the poison, Chris, but it only has damage plus 2. Ah, I'll stick with my gutting, Chris. Uh, Naga silk sword. Oh, so there's a Naga and a superior Naga. Well, never gonna use it. Um, a longbow, archery one. Never gonna use it. 
Assassin's garb, I'm wearing that, good. Wizard robe, never gonna use it. Just doing a little bit of inventory. House cleaning here. Uh, Ring of the Weapon Master, that's uh, crit hit chance stuff. Never gonna use it. Uh, Ring of the Pahonix? Or Phoenix, whatever. Uh, never, never gonna use them? No, I might, actually. Regen. Let's organize. Let's organize. This is driving me a little bit crazy here. Not really, but you no. Know, I like organizing stuff, so. Um, okay, all my scrolls down here. This steel bar, never gonna use it. Short sword, never gonna use it. Can't wear two rings. Oh, that is the ring I'm wearing. I don't want to drop that. Okay. Uh, potions. Well, I've got a potion area over here. Get out of there. Potion area over here. Uh, well, my mushroom is a consumable, so... And plus one damage. Never going to use it. Ring of fire protection. I guess I might. 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 Possibly use that. Flame gold. Oh, it tells you right there what it's used to do. Earth fire sword. I'm never going to use the earth fire sword. So, yeah, well, somebody's going to hit the jackpot when they come through here. Can I grab this potion without picking up something I dropped? And let's see. Not quite. There we go. Maybe from here. Oh, but I can't look straight down. Okay. Well. Oh, there's a mana potion down here I want to get anyway. Stone skin. Ah. Yeah. 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 Right. Ah, no, no, no! Ah. Oh, God. I died? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, good, we're right here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I really wouldn't. Yeah, I guess it would kill me. Get off, get off the rope. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, they have a little bit of momentum to them. That's what got me. I see. Did I? Okay, I got everything I wanted to from down there. I want to say that casket doesn't open, but maybe it does. Check for yourself. Oh. Hmm. I wonder. This game is jam-packed full of secrets. In fact, um, you may have noticed the screen going slightly dark there. Well, yeah, we missed the effect, but, um, oh, there it was, right there. See how things darken? When you see that, you know there's a secret around somewhere, so boom. There it is right there. What we got here? I could be running straight to the goal here, but so... Oh! Oh, shh. Hmm. Telekinesis. Telekinesis. Yeah, sometimes I prefer just to run straight off ledges. You know. Instead of jumping, because the jumping can be somewhat touchy. It's all momentum based, and it's tough to gain momentum, you know, on this two foot space here, so. So that's why. Let's go get that secret. I think it's a my a, a magic a magic mushroom. So yeah, let's just be safe. Be on the safe side here. In fact, there might be something up there. Yeah, let's take a peek. I don't see anything, but it doesn't mean there's nothing up there. It looks like you can climb up. Using the ooh, Thief 3 
um, climbing mechanic thing where you hold down the space. Did I get that? I didn't get that. Okay, <laughs> it just jumped around there for a second. Yeah. yeah, sometimes this happens too where you can't, well, you can't turn, but you just go the other way and it lets you, so. Alright. Well, I'm curious now. Curious. You put it right on the top edge of the board. Huh. Doesn't look like that's allowed. It seems to be passing straight through it. There we go. There, it's on the top edge now. Yeah. Well, if I don't see anything, I'm not going to jump. Nope. I'll see if I can get up here, though. There we go. <clears throat> That's the tricky part about it. Like, you have to hold down space, but then your momentum... It's not only space, but space and forward seems to help. So, yeah. A lot of times, you'll fly off the other side. So... There we go. You know what? Let's head back. Oh god, I may have screwed myself here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this happens. Oh god. Okay, okay, just held down spacebar, but you get stuck between the two ropes if you place them too closely together. But, uh, just something to be aware of, I guess. Alright. Here's another secret around here. <clears throat> right about here-ish. And this can be tricky too. I'm just gonna save. I don't wanna die. That, uh, uh, that's always scary. But uh, he always seems to grab the rope, so... Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, I think somebody spotted us. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> yeah. It's just not reliable enough, so. Here we go, here we go, alright. Stealth through here. Now we can, yes. Exactly. <clears throat> we can. Well. Oh, and I just noticed I lost all of my inventory management. Oh. Do I have to hit the rope dead on? Pixel perfect? That's as close as I can get, game. Yeah, that's where we want to go. There may be other secrets around here. Feel free to um, look around at your leisure. Oh, there we go. Let's put a rope right there. Ah. I'm not gonna bother stealthing. Whoa. Yeah. This is definitely the wise route to take, I think. Okay, we need another rope. Definitely need another rope. Get a running start here. There we go. Need one right here as well. That ought to do it. Looking down helps as well, so you can see exactly where your feet are. So. And never be afraid to jump, even if it seems a little bit too far away. Because he's got quite a... Quite a, a rope jump. Jump rope. It's quite the distance. I don't know why this is turning into a rope arrow tutorial today in platforming. Just trying to help you out because the platforming can be frustrating. <laughs> can be irritating if you don't, you know, get the hang of it and take your time. And then you get angry and 
that doesn't help the situation at all. So you never learn that way. Alright. There are some secrets around here somewhere. Well. Oh, look at that. Stayed right there. That was useful. There is a secret around here, I want to say. Hmm. Is there something on top of these boards? I don't know about that, but there is something in there. So... Ah, and there's a chest too. We may be able to get inside that chest using TK. Oh, nope. You need the burglar ability. It's locked. Okay. But yeah, let's just take a look. I don't need what's in this chest. Or... Oh, sarcophagus. I thought I'd just um, <clears throat> have a little peek and show you guys. It, um, poison, Poison Chris. Poison Chris. Now let's take a look. No, there's nothing on top of these boards here. And nothing over there either. All right. There might be other stuff around here. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look around for yourself. I don't know all the secrets. I think I know most of them. But I might be overlooking or forgetting some. So. There might be an optional area over here. I'm not sure. Huh. I don't remember if we run across this later or not, so I'm going to go check it out. Oh, careful there. Alright. Now this guy's in the way. I want to take care of him. There we go. Now... There we go. Let's see about this. Ghouls? Those are Arantir's dogs. They must have found a way in. Oh. He's on to me. Okay. Oh god, I need to heal. I think we can close this. There we go. Lock them out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get crushed. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Chainmail for the warriors among us. Here we go. Uh, there's a trap here. Nothing else in here, I don't believe. Yeah, that is like a spike trap or something. I don't know. I wonder if you can set it off with the arrow. No. Hmm. Well, just in case you want to give me some trouble, I think I'm going to charm you. Oh god! Oh god! I I may have forgotten about that trap. Where was the quick save? Oh. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, you've really got to be aware of your surroundings in this game. Really, really have to be aware. I don't even know. I think this might be pointless, what I'm doing. I think this might be an alternate route to get here. So. Oh, man. I really wish. Okay. There we go. Come through here. Yeah, I think it might just be an alternate. Those are errant ah. dogs. They must have found a way in. Oh, God. That wore off quickly. 
Oh, he died on the trap. Good. Um, I'm just gonna leave that open. Now that the ghouls are dead, do need to arrange this better. So this should have been... How did you die? Oh, he stepped on the trap. I guess you're supposed to see that? Yeah, these guys really know how to design their dungeons, that's for sure. Um, I really enjoyed the dungeon crawling experience in Ark's Fatalis as well. That's barely visible though. Good thing about Undead is they're really good at taking each other out. Yeah, you can see the pressure plate. That'll work too. I think we may have backtracked to a previous location. Yeah, this is just an alternate route, I think. So. We don't need to be here. Um, where's the... Well, that was pointless. That was completely pointless. Up and around. So yeah, I didn't need to go there. That's just if you take the middle route, um, that's an alternate way to get here. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the mushroom this time. Alright. But yeah, I would love to see um, just expansions to this game. Just um, single levels designed in a, a level editor. They could release a dungeon every week. I'd probably buy it for $2.99, something like that. I know I'm talking about a game that's uh, 10 years old now, but... Yeah. Oh well. Alright, let's see. Oh, I've got ten. Ten whole skill points here. Oh, I maxed out magic affinity. Really? Okay. Um, let's save up for mana regen. Let's do that. I think that's a smart thing to do. I could use a few more mana potions. I should, I should really start looking around. Trying to be more observant. About my surrounding spikes. Pressure plate. And a bunch of wood. So we're gonna platform up there. I'm gonna put a bunch of rope arrows. I'm never sure where my rope arrow needs to be to get me to where I wanna go. There's a secret up there, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them everywhere. Frickin', I think that should be enough. <laughs> I think so. The oh, maiden's no. eye, an artifact of fate and doom. It's nearby, somewhere above us. Hmm, I wonder where it could be. Oh, God. Okay. See? I may have not placed enough. I don't think I can make this jump, so I think I did screw up. <laughs> Okay, there is something here though. We got the uh, scroll charm, arcane robe, which is I think is the highest level robe in the game. But yeah, we need another. It really doesn't seem like I can make that jump, so just to be safe, is that gonna drop down? Good. It's right there in front of the platform. There we go. There's something up here. Oh, God. Okay, this is just the way of the main, maiden's eye. Um, there might be some sort of secret around here, though. While we're up here, why not? Why not? I said, why not? Um, trigger this. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay, there are two triggers for it. I thought that should work, but I guess not. This is how physics works, right? <laughs> Alright, that'll do it. Maybe they'll get some of them. 
Uh, no. Nope. 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 Not a single one. Hey guys, what's that in the middle there? <laughs> I should have done that first. Well, they seem the second arrow seemed to confuse them. All right. There we go. Got the maiden's eye. Oh. The heck is that over there, guys? I don't know. I'm gonna get a move on. I'm never gonna remember all the secrets when I'm less playing this, and I don't really care to bore you looking around and possibly wasting time looking around for nothing. So. Let's go ahead and quick save here. You never know when I might forget about a trap, so. Or not see it at all. Because they are well hidden. Okay, stop looking around for secrets. Uh, is that a blood stain? I'm paranoid now about traps. Pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Oh, that's where that ended up. Okay. Ah. Pressure plate. Ah, oh, sh shit. Go away. Leave me be. Leave me be, please. Alright, you want to go straight up here. Good. Dropped all the way down here. Mm, I think we might be glitched here. And that guy's about to... no longer be happy with me here in a second. Okay, let's see. Where's a good place? Ah! To put this... Probably best here. Where it's not going to get stuck on anything. Okay. God, my neighbor's dog is going nuts. Alright. What do we got here? Well, it's gone now, whatever it was. Alright. There's a trap in here. I remember this. How you're supposed to... S Say what? Oh, it's the zombies running into spike traps up there. Okay. Um, how are you supposed to see it, though? I don't know. What am I talking about? I already explained this. You can't see them. Yeah, you just have to shoot an arrow if you don't have detect trap. That always works. So this opens a gate here in a second, but, um... Sword of the Dragon Claw. Sword of the Dragon Claw. Strange. It makes me feel uneasy. It's unpleasant to lift it. Those are evil, dangerous weapons, Sarath. Weapons of the Dragon Knights. They were holy fanatics, in league with the Seventh Dragon when he tried to murder your father. So that's a really, it's a great weapon against the undead, but it burns. it's a curse, I tell you. It's woven with spells for the death of our kind. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Trap. Let's do this. I want to use my ghoul here as my servant, and he immediately dies. Well done! Well, let's show off the fact that the undead are really good at killing each other here. I haven't done that yet. There we go. So he should be dead any second now. Watch out for the traps here. Why not pick up a... Uh... Nope, nothing. Great. Try to climb up here. Man, 